Hello everybody and welcome to the final Pi Game tutorial video. So in this video we're going to just basically wrap up everything uh, that has led up to this point. Uh, so first of all, congratulations to making it to the end if you uh, did actually watch the whole thing all the way through. I know a lot of people like to uh, look at the last video to see what it's all about. Um, though this is absolutely not the only thing that we did. We made basically two games before getting to this point and then we were showing 3D. So if you uh, missed that, you are missing out. So anyways, um, the idea of this video is, is really, you know, what's next? What can you do once you know these things? So obviously we've made some, some simple 2D games and like we did Snake and then the Tanks game. Uh, and those games have a lot of, well, Snake is pretty much is completed. <laughs> there's not too much you can add to Snake. But uh, the Tanks game, there's a lot that we could have added to, uh, to the Tanks game. Um, but the main crux of everything is just understanding the logic. It's no different than understanding um, Python programming in general. Once you know the basic building blocks, you just, there's, you know, with Python programming, there's really uh, five or six major tools that you're going to use over and over and over and just the different combinations and the different ways you'll use them with each other, you can make an infinite pretty much amount of programs. So the same thing is true with Pygame. Um, there's a lot of options, but if you're interested in 3D and really kind of advancing um, the types of games that you're gonna make with Pygame, then I do suggest you head on over to uh, pygame.org. Uh, by default, they just head, send you to news.html. Um, and first of all, if you're just curious about how to make a specific game, you can always search on the Pi Game website. And like, if you're looking for, um, like for example, OpenGL, you could click on Pi OpenGL and see some of the games that people have made uh, with OpenGL. Most of them are kind of goofy little games, nothing serious. But some of the games are actually pretty complex, uh, especially when it comes to the mathematics. So when it comes to something like OpenGL and rendering graphics. Um, there's kind of two, uh, two, I guess, points of an array uh, where <clears throat> on one side you've got ease of understanding as far as like what the calculations are doing, and on the other side you've got abstraction and efficiency where the more efficient something is, sometimes the more abstract it is and difficult it is to understand, but it computes and it calculates much quicker. Um, and so for that, a lot of times you're going to see like NumPy being used and stuff like that. So don't be discouraged uh, by those things, but definitely uh, check some of those out because they do um, they do make the game a lot better. So in our case, you know, we're just we have a single cube here that's just being rotated, and we can zoom in and out as we've shown. But for the most part, it's real basic. There's not a lot of calculations that need to take place. But if you had uh, six thousand cubes, um, it now becomes somewhat imperative to uh, have very efficient uh, coding. So anyway, you can kind of see what some other people have done just by visiting, you know, pygame.org slash tag slash pyopengl. See what other people are doing. Some some people actually have real games, um, which is really cool, like really whole made games. Um, the other thing, too, I want to bring up is I know that um, Bucky and the New Boston, they have a Blender tutorial series. Just so happens there is Pygame Blender. <laughs> uh, so you can check that out for making some really cool... Um, you know, graphic, graphically oriented games uh, using Blender and Pygame. So definitely check that out. Also, if I believe it was even on their homepage. Um, right. So Blender 2.72 was released. You've got also Soyo 3D, which is another uh, 3D engine. Um, let's see. So, you know, you just kind of want to like look at this, but I think Blender is probably one of the more popular ones. You'll find way more documentation on Blender. Uh, with with uh, Pygame and it just so happens to work out because Bucky has a Blender tutorial. So those are some of the things that you can look into as far as uh, moving forward with Pygame and making more advanced and three-dimensional uh, games. So I hope you all have enjoyed. I appreciate the opportunity from Bucky to uh, teach you guys about Pygame. Uh, hopefully that was a, a good help for some of you guys. I got you guys on a, a good good path hopefully. So that's it, and as always, thanks for watching, and until next time.